Hi, I'm Trevor Conkergood, the software manager for RNK Distributing, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about the new Floriani Creative Express software with PhotoPlay. And I even have news of a super awesome contest that you can enter with a whole bunch of chances to win awesome prizes from Floriani like software or stabilizers and thread. And so um, be sure to stay tuned for more information about that and check below the video for links to find out exactly how you can go ahead and get registered. But um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to close my camera and talk to you guys about our new software called Floriani Creative Express. Now Floriani Creative Express is absolutely free software uh, that you can download and install today. Um, what you're going to want to do is, oh I don't know, go on the your favorite browser and Google you know Floriani Creative Express um, or just simply visit our website the rnksoftware.club um, or any Floriani website, but basically if you follow the link to software, um, in this case, when you get to the RNK Software Club, it's right here where it says updates. And this is all of the different software that we make at Floriani, but if you download right here, Creative Express, this is where you can download the latest version of the program absolutely free. And um, not only will that grant you uh, this cool new program, it even gives you the ability to sign in and participate in all of the videos. Um, there's a whole bunch of videos just to help you learn about how to use the Creative Express software and all the cool features that it has. And so um, I'm sure that you'll love being a member of the RNK Software Club. Anyhow, that's how you'll get it. Just go ahead and Google Floriani Creative Express. I'm sure you'll find it, but it's rnksoftware.club. Now, um, what I'll do is close all that and come back to the software again. And so the tool we're going to talk about today and basically how you can enter this contest is by using the new PhotoPlay tool to, um, to create a new uh, photo play is essentially a three dimensional, um, kind of like a new cool photo filter that'll do a 3D embroidery simulation. Look at the results here. This is a photograph, like a professional photograph of a baby laying in a bed. And this is what it looks like after you apply the photo play filter to it. And so think of it as your coolest new filter for your social media, you know, for all your family and friends to see your photographs. Or maybe you just want to attach that JPEG to an email and send it to your mom. And so um, I thought today we, we could learn how to use the photo play tool. And what we're going to do is work on um, this photograph here. So that's my dog. His name is Ryder and he loves to go on the boat with me um, when I go fishing. And so um, this is the tool right here, you guys. It's called photo play. And when I click on it, it opens up the ability to browse your computer and kind of navigate to wherever. And so I've got, these are all the photographs that I've been playing with um, to show you guys. So I've got a whole bunch of ones that I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Um, but what we'll do is find the photograph of Ryder. There it is. That's the original photograph. And just say open. And so here comes the photograph of Ryder. And it's really, there's two steps to doing this kind of photo play. Um, the first step is where you define the size of the image. Um, so this is kind of telling you what size it is right now. And if you want it to be smaller, you can just change that size right there. Um, you know, and there's going to be my first tip for you guys. Because if I bring a photograph that I took like with my iPhone and I email that to myself and then I open it up with the software, they can be really large. In fact, when I email them from my iPhone, I usually tell it to be a medium or a large size because the original is like 52 inches tall or something like that. And all I want to say is if you try and use the photo play tool with really large photographs and you don't reduce their size, it takes a lot longer because it's trying to embroider your photograph. And so, for example, if I take this photograph and instead of doing it at 28 inches tall, if I make it like 16 inches tall and click apply, then when I click next, the results come quite quickly, quite click, <laughs> quite quickly. <laughs> because, um, you know, it's working on a 16 by 12 area. But what I will say is, 
if I was to have clicked uh, next, um, you know, with the original size of 28 inches, that wouldn't be wrong. It just takes longer. In fact, I timed it because I wanted to um, sort of see how long it took, and it takes about a minute. So this one came up in, you know, like 10 or 20 seconds. Um, once this results come up, there's a whole second set of instructions that you can also adjust uh, to get, you know, to finish to, I guess, adjust your results. But right away, you can already see how cool that 3D sort of simulation looks on the photograph of Ryder. And if you were happy and just like, yeah, that's perfect, let's go, then you would push save as. And now it's going to give you the ability to save that design as a JPEG. And that is what photo play is, you guys. You choose a photograph, you apply a cool filter to it, and then you save it to your computer. And so what I will say is when you update things, so for example, now I have, I didn't I didn't bother to save it. I'm going to keep it, um, F adjusting these parameters a little bit. So the maximum number of set threads comes up by default at 32. Um, 60 is the maximum, and if you turn that up to 60, then it puts more colors into the results. And so it's kind of a neat thing because you can turn it down and kind of almost like posterize your image and give it a cool kind of edgy look to it. Or you can turn it up to get more and more kind of realistic results. And so now you can see how, you know, increasing the number of colors gave a little bit more sort of nicer results. Um, I can view it with the 3D preview. So it gives me an idea of kind of what that's going to look like in 3D. Um, I can choose any thread palette I want and changing the thread palette can also change the results because um, Floriani Poly is a great palette to work with because it comes with 360 shades of colors. But that said, if you've got another favorite color palette you like to work with, we can, you can choose whatever one you want. Um, you don't only get the option of color, you can do a grayscale or a sepia um, tone photograph or a monotone photograph. So if I choose grayscale, um, and click apply, it's going to apply 60 shades of gray onto um, the photograph of Ryder. And um, at any time, I guess, whenever I'm happy with whatever results have come up, I simply choose that save as. And I can, in, you know, choose it saves as a JPEG. And then you can post it on your social media, or like I said, email it to your family and friends. So it's pretty much as easy as that. Um, what I'm going to do is close this one and do another one. Um, first of all, uh, I had said earlier about the size, right? So just to give you an idea, um, this is one of the ones that I did of uh, my wife, Lorna, and my son, Nicholas. And I made it twice. So that's the original photograph. And then I did one at 16 inches and I did one at 28 inches so that you can kind of get an idea of, yeah, there's a little bit more detail or dimension um, when you look at it at the 28 inch size than when you look at it at the 16 inch size. If you were actually going to embroider this, then you would be kind of limited to the size of your embroidery hoop and you'd be probably choosing 16 inch sizes anyways. But when you do the photo play, it's not wrong to make that a, um, a, to do a large size, right? It's not wrong to, to maximize it. So um, it just takes longer. And that's what I want you to know. And be careful because if it now it kind of depends on the speed of your computer. I'm going to click on this photograph of this Corvette and show you guys a cool one. So now I've got the original photograph and it's a the original photograph is 15 inches by six. Um, you know, you could even turn these numbers higher as much as if you want or lower. Uh, but that's a reasonable size and I'm going to get results pretty quickly if I say next. Um, it'll quickly come back with some results. But what I thought would be cool in this case was to actually remove the white and almost like trim it out so that you could have just the car. And so notice here where you can apply a filter. And so there's all kinds of shapes, you know, if you want to put a heart or anything like that. Um, but if you do a custom filter, then you get to draw and you basically just click with your mouse to kind of like define a little filter around your photograph. And so if you want to just take like one picture, uh, a one person out of a photograph, or like in this case, and I'm kind of going, trying to do it as quickly as I can here while we're live in video, but you can take your time and, and you know, kind of fuss over the points if you like a little bit. Um, but I can do a pretty good job while I'm talking and get a pretty darn good result 
pretty quickly here. I'm just about done. I'm just kind of around the horn. And so now I'm just going to come across the bottom because there's a shadow down there. And it just seems logical to like include all of that. And so when I kind of finished drawing around it, I right clicked. And see what it did it masked off all the background and so now if i say next it just does the photo stitch on the actual car itself um i didn't also mention so after the color option down here you do have there's two different sort of styles of stitching one of them is called curvilinear the other one's called crossover and go ahead and try each one because sometimes one or the other may give a better kind of result um when you use the curvilinear you even have like a quality setting um again i think this is more for people that are actually going to stitch out the design because you can uh one would be kind of the least amount of density or quality if you will whereas three would be the highest amount so there's a small adjustment there um you can even ask the software to put a border around the whole thing um but what so what I wanted to say about the embroidering it is with photo play with creative express we simply give the option to save it as a jpeg however if you um own the floriani ftcu software that's our kind of like main embroidery program at floriani land um then the tool becomes photo to stitches and you can click on finish and it would take the stitches of this car and put them on my screen and allow me to, you know, save it and sew it on my embroidery machine. And so in the free software of Creative Express, you get the ability to do um, just the JPEGs. And so I want to show you guys some of the awesome things that I was able to do with it. And so there's a photograph of Mr. Walter Floriani himself. And um, I love this photograph, but it was kind of challenging because his suit's black and the bark background was all pretty dark and so um you know it didn't it it was hard to kind of pick out his suit a little bit but that was one of the times when i found that maybe going to a sepia tone kind of almost helped enhance the photograph a little bit anyway each one of these photographs was kind of a fun one to do there's me and my daughter loren and we're obviously in las vegas and we're being photobombed by one of the rnk educators that's shanae back there and um look at the cool results that you get and so um this is a neat you know like photograph of a sunset and beautiful um you know photo place so my idea is these are the coolest new filters for your social and you know, instagram posts and fa and facebook and whatnot and so there's a sunset that's like you know a nice country sunset and that's the photo play result from it. Um, this is me with all of the national Floriani educators. Every one of these people is a super talented Floriani educator. And I photo played it. And um, it was a really big photograph. And I have to be honest, it took quite a long time for it to give me the results. Um, but you know what I did is I clicked on next and I went and got a coffee and when I came back it was done and then I adjusted the number of colors and I clicked next and I went and had lunch or something. And so if you want to do a really big photograph, it does take a lot longer, but um, you know, when you're doing most of these ones, when I emailed them to myself at the large size, they came in around 20 inches and they photo played within about a minute. So I was reasonable and I had, I have that kind of patience. Anyway, that Saskatoon, that's the beautiful kind of river. And that's the prairie lily floating on the river there. There's Ryder. That's my dog in the sunset. Um, so I love the photo play filter effect. There's the, so, uh, the, grayscale again you guys and how cool is that anyway um that one i put a heart around him and isn't that just a cute one to put i want to post that on my social media right away um anyway that's the one that we demoed with and that's the awesome results that we made so how cool is that um that's ricky and k brooks you guys that's the r and the k and r and k distributing and i just think k brooks is an absolute stabilizer genius you guys and anyway i had to do a photo stitch of those two and um that's my daughter reese and the beautiful fall colors in our yard and look how awesome that looks so um i hope you guys will do some photo plays and post them on our social media or email them to us and, and join our contest um it's going to be worth it there's going to be some awesome prizes that's poppy you guys that's the newest member of our family our cute little kitty and um that's the color version of it but i thought i'd liked it better in the sepia tone actually that one so that one's going on my social media for sure 
Um, that's Nicholas and his girlfriend Tatum out in the yard in the beautiful fall colors. And so great results with the with the photographs nowadays in the you know in this fall season. Anyway, there's Lorna with Poppy. That's my wife Lorna and our kitty. And I put a f oval mask around that one. So I think you guys are really gonna like this tool. That's the one I did of Lorna and Nicholas, and um, that's the highest quality results that, or the higher quality results that I did. And that's Loren. She's our eldest daughter and um, what a beautiful photo play image that is and I know she's going to love it when she sees it and um, that's me with Hope Yoder and we are obviously having a lot of fun we're being photobombed by Miss Beth Palmer and they're probably both going to hate me for doing this one but I thought it was a cute photo um, yeah anyway who knows what you'll want to do with yours and I saw one already on social media an awesome uh, like antique photograph of somebody's grandparents and so that one's a graveside and look how neat it looks when you do it in the photo play of a really really old family grave um, there's Lauren and I golfing this summer and another one so that's Grandpa Chuck and not the absolute monster that we were trying to reel in but I certainly got a beautiful photograph of that it's a northern pike um, we like to call it a jackfish and um, there's the photo play image of us fishing so how fun um, there's the Corvette that we just did and I must be almost to the end here yeah there's my baby photograph well that's not my baby photograph but a cool professional baby photograph gives great results and that is me with Miss Alex Anderson who's of course the inspiration for our Quilter Select products and um, and there's a, a photo play of me and Alex and so I think I'll post that one on her social media and I bet she'll think that's pretty cool too and so you guys I hope that you enjoyed today's video I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Floriani Creative Express go ahead and download it if you don't already own it and um, please play with the new photo play tool create some images and get ready to join our awesome contest and so thanks so much for listening to me today until next time bye for now